Welcome along to a new tips video and in this one I want to talk about fear and how to overcome it and you know just push towards your best version of yourself. It's something we all, no matter how big or strong you think you are, something we all deal with at one point or another in life now and saying that there is a healthy amount of fear to have it keeps you sharp and whatnot but there's there's those other fears that are you're not born with uh you're they're kind of beaten into you over the years you know what i'm talking about uh a little bit different for everybody but uh there are some fears in there that our people have put into your mind and not something that's naturally in you so how are we gonna deal with this as we're moving forward here is seven more tips on uh, my version of how to conquer your fear. So step number one in this list is to identify and acknowledge your fear. The first step to overcoming it is to identify and acknowledge what exactly it is that you're afraid of. Write down your fears and try to understand why you're afraid. Tip number two is to take small steps in your journey to overcoming your fear um just take those small steps to uh face whatever your fear is this can help you build confidence and gradually overcome that fear tip number three is to practice relaxation techniques uh fear can cause physical symptoms such as increased heart rate sweating and tension um, practicing relaxation techniques such as deep breathing, meditation or yoga can help to calm your mind and your body. Tip number four is to seek support. Talk to someone you trust about your fear, whatever it may be. Getting support and reassurance from others can help you feel more confident and less alone. Number five is to challenge negative thoughts. Fear is often fueled by the negative thoughts that come into your mind you know negative thoughts and beliefs challenge those thoughts by focusing on positive outcomes and visualizing success tip number six is to take action sometimes the best way to overcome fear is to just take action grab it by the throat uh, confront it head on um, yes take steps to overcome it and tip number seven in overcoming your fear is to celebrate your progress. Celebrate every small victory along the way. You might think it's just not even, like you'll do something one day and you'll think to yourself, okay, uh, I've made a step but it's nothing major. Take the smallest victory as something huge and just make a milestone out of it in your mind. Just celebrate it. This will help you stay motivated and build confidence as you continue to work on overcoming your fears. So there you are guys, there's a lot of good tips right there on how to overcome fear. Now, like a lot of the tips that I give out in these videos, if you've been watching them all and you're keeping track of them, there'll be a couple of little tips that seem fairly similar in nature. Like I'll title them probably something very similar, like seek support and whatnot. You know, no matter what you're doing in life, there's... You know, there's a lot of tips that are across the board and different things. You could have different topics of conversation, but you'll have that same little piece of advice on there. It is, life is, when you really boil it down, it does get very simple in places. Um, some of the tips that you'll get are simple at the end of the day. But uh, fear, again, it's a huge, huge one that stopped a hell of a lot of us from doing stuff that we've wanted to do over the years i kind of feel in my own mind that if i didn't let my own fear of you know getting on camera at the very beginning of being a content creator um i tried my hardest whenever i first started out in this um originally i wanted to be a content producer that concentrated on weddings and events that sort of thing so from the beginning i never 
visualizing myself as being the person that would be actually in front of the camera doing this sort of thing. So it was like two or three years into it before I actually got properly in front of the camera doing stuff. Like even whenever we started our first video series online, it was me 100% behind the camera, sticking the funds in there, getting editing computers and whatnot, getting cameras. And it was friends that were in front of the camera. Never myself, but then as we progressed forward and um, you started to realize that, you know, my goals aren't necessarily the goals of those guys and they weren't just as interested in being in front of the camera. I had to take that step forward and get myself on the screen and start doing this stuff myself. So it's, it's been a long process for me to get as comfortable as I actually am in front of the camera now. But that was a huge, huge fear at the start. Um, grew up as a fat kid, so you've got that mental image of yourself that uh, you're still that fat kid that used to get bullied in school. Um, yes, um, that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. And I can just mention the fat kid stuff. Like I'm, I'm pretty much physically the best condition of my life at this point can get better i know we can get better but um i see myself on screen and i still see that kid that's overweight has like two or three chins uh phantom fat i believe they call it um yeah so this here for me making these videos for you guys putting them out on the internet hopefully helping people is me overcoming one of my fears so I'm not just giving these tips out willy-nilly. Uh, I know that uh, it's hard to conquer a fear. And I'm loving proof that you can actually decide that you want to do something and actually do it. So uh, work on your fear. Take your time. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. But um, yeah, you know, I'm here to support you every step of the way. 